to my program is an inventor, entrepreneur. He's the CEO of My Pillow Incorporated. Mr. Uh, Lindell began the concept of creating a pillow that was guaranteed the most comfortable pillow you will ever own about 10 years ago. In 2011, the first My Pillow infomercial was launched, catapulting My Pillow from five employees working from a garage to over 500 employees, a corporate office, and a 70,000 square foot manufacturing plant. Mr. Lindell, a former addict, was pounding that crack, baby, pounding that crack. <laughs> it's his life mission to help those in need, and he joins us now here in the studio. Good morning, Mr. Lindell. Thank you, Mr. Amos. Oh, you look great. Thank you. Look handsome. <laughs> He came in here one the last time with that <laughs> dumb blue shirt on, yeah. which looks great in the ads, by the way. Right, right. So. Well, it, it shows we've come a long way this summer from the golf 1970 golf shirt to this suit. Yeah, so how are you? <laughs> Real good. Now, this woman I tried to fix you up with. We don't need to identify her. Right. But you never called her. We we had so much adversity this summer, and I was going through so many so many things, and we uh, and just the timing wasn't right, and okay. and I've kind of met someone in between now, and oh, you did, yeah, yeah. So how's that working out? It's it's working out good. We're we're friends right now, but I've got to concentrate on my business. <laughs> right. So um, because we did discuss briefly the last. Right. <laughs> that was not good. Yeah, that was a short marriage. Yeah. But you're uh, not to patronize you, but you're a very nice guy and not a creep. Well, thank you. So I took a liking to you. I'm not sure why. Because I thought you were full of it with your my pillow, but you're not. Right, right. I remember that day I showed it to you. Yeah. Yeah. Sat in the office there for right. a couple of weeks before we even tried it. <laughs> right. Oh. And my wife said, oh, this is not organic. So. Right, right. <laughs> uh, so when the National Sleep Foundation embraced uh, your company and the, and selected my pillow right. as the official pillow how did that happen well you know they they chose us from all the other pillows out there and i was actually kind of upset a few years ago when they had they had uh, um there was another pillow as the as the because i thought you know i knew i had the best product out sure. there and and it really was a validation for 10 years of all the customers that have my pillow and myself and my employees and it was uh it was really a blessing this summer. It kind of uh, coincided with our 10-year anniversary here, and it's like all our adversity and hard work and everything that's happened to me and my company. It's uh, it was really a blessing, especially having something made in the United States that they that they chose. You know. Yeah, I know you told me this before, but uh, what gave you the idea for this? Well, I had the same problem everybody else has with the sleep. I mean, pillows going flat and using your arm and flip-flopping all night, and I'd have headaches. And it was kind of funny. Back in 1977, I went out and spent $80 at a department store on a pillow. I looked around, make sure nobody's looking, and tried it out, and and uh, couldn't return it, and it didn't work. And I was, you know, traumatized. Probably why I went into drug addiction. And uh, they, uh, they, uh, don't get crazy on me. <laughs> <now. laughs> okay. Come on, back up here a second. You go to the department store, uh, yeah. <laughs> look around, make sure nobody's looking. Okay. Right. Well, you got to try pillows. <laughs> to try the pillow, would you lie down on the floor or what? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Did you? Yes, absolutely. And what'd you think? And I didn't. I thought, well, they feel okay here, but then I got them home, and I and it, yeah. you know, I wasted my whole check. And then, you know, the next 30, 40 years of my life, I spent. Uh, trying every pillow that came out there and there was nothing there and I then I mortgaged my house spent two years and and uh, just dove into this um, uh, to developing the, this pillow and it was me out of necessity at first and then you know I um, I wouldn't give up on I wanted to have everything and through throughout my life or throughout the two years you know it uh, I just didn't give up so you came up with the idea for the pillow mm -hmm. so this was your dream right to develop this into what it is today. Mm -hmm. Was there any point during this process that you wanted to give up? There was a very scary time when, when, when I did have the pillow developed and I was married at the time with four little, chil four little kids and we, uh, we did a little kiosk in Eden Prairie, Minnesota and we mortgaged our house to buy Christmas presents that year and we only sold like 80 pillows and I was very, I was more afraid than anything because I go, I don't have a skill, how am I gonna, you know, support my family, and uh, and then um, God God bless this guy that called up and said uh, he goes I I bought one of these pillows and it changed my life, and he said uh, he said are you the guy that invented this pillow? And he said this is a created a miracle in my life. And he said I I um, manage the Minneapolis Home and Garden Show. Would you like to get a spot there? And and I said yeah, I'll t and I'll try it. I was kind of you know, try anything, and and we got there and uh, we sold out and, uh, and so. 
So, but you never said to yourself, "I'm not going to do this. Is not going to work. No, this is not meant to be." No, absolutely okay, not. Okay, why I, do you I, think that happened? Why do I think it happened that I that I said that? Because no, no. It, why do you think it happened that this guy called you from the Minneapolis home? And, I think because it changed his life, and I think it was divine intervention, if you're really on the truth, that this actually happened. No, I want you to lie to me. That's what I like. I come in <laughs> and, and lie. So you, think, so you think the Lord intervened in Absolutely. Him. Absolutely. We've been protected so much by the, the last 10 years of adversity and people. I could write a book on American greed about people attacking my pillow, and they told me it could never be done. You can't get a, you get a 10-year warranty. You've you ever can't. seen Joe Lostein? Yes, yep. The evangelist? Absolutely. I watched him on uh, uh, Sunday Mm -hmm. out of Houston, Texas. Right. That's his message. Right. His message is what you did. His message was that you have a dream and don't give up on it. Right. And and, and, and ask the Lord. Mm -hmm. Of course, I was making fun of him. Right. And ask the Lord, did you do that? Did I? Did I? Yeah. Absolutely. He's got, he's protected our company and my and my dream for the ten years and they uh, so jerks like me, who well I'm not serious so yeah. who make fun of that is that's nonsense. Well, that's a great story. Well, well you've never given up on your dream, you know. Yeah, people they I tell people all the time that you know they, that entrepreneurs. Well, yes, I did. I wanted to be a I wanted to be a brain surgeon. I don't get <laughs> stuck doing this, being a jerk. That's a, I'm being serious. That's a great story. Yeah, thank you. And, the, and the, you know, even per, the, some of the miracles, you know, when I was addicted to drugs, and, and that's been five years now besides our 10 years of being in business, and and uh, just to be able to keep things going during that terrible times, and, and uh, you know, God had to have his place in that. That's a, that's a great story. You know, for cynics like me, who think all that stuff is sometimes, I mean, I love the baby Jesus. Mm-hmm. And I think, but I also have great respect for other people's religion. I don't think there's just one way to get to heaven at all. Right. But uh, for, for, for cynics in the world, that's a great story. Thank you. So good for you. Thank you. And I'm happy that you've got yourself a babe. Mm-hmm. And the business is doing better, right? And oh, it's doing it, great. The business has went from... When when I talked to you in July, we were we were I know. we were really we had some problems internally and and it's funny you know over the ten years it doesn't matter how big you get the the problems are just bigger sure. you know magnified and and uh, but we're through it and we with this with this blessing of being that I'm national, gonna buy a travel pillow there you go I'm gonna <laughs> yeah. buy another one mm-hmm. but we've got uh, we're the best we've ever been right now and Good for you. Uh, and it's been really great and what I want to do today. For Jonathan Mason's father, I want to give all the money for taking on our website today for the for your show and donate to his camp, New Joy. It was oh, God really, bless you. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Uh, Mike Lindell here on the Iverson Morning Program. Praise God. Praise Jesus. Ten minutes down until the hour.